You all right? I've come in fancy dress. I'm a road. So, this week, my mother's been out on a protest. Mother on a protest. Yeah, it turns out that some of the baby boomer crowd are going to have to work a few extra years before getting their pensions now. Boo fucking who? <laughs> I'm 37. If I happen to die before the age of 90, they will probably reanimate my corpse so I can carry on working. <laughs> probably get a job at KFC or like virgin tech support. In order for us to set up your phone line, you will need to ring this number. Uh... <laughs> but uh, they were like, where's the money? Where's the money? We paid in. Where's the money gone? You spent it, baby boomers. You spent it. You kept on living like we were still at the height of the British Empire without anybody noticing that at some point India had fucked off and stopped sending us a big check. You can laugh at that, it's fine. <laughs> Turns out that the tiny island nation of Tuvalu, we can't really milk that for about a million contributions to final salary schemes, I'm sorry. Fun fact, the, na the tiny island nation of Tuvalu now makes quite a lot of money selling their .tv web addresses. But it's Commonwealth now, so tough shit, we don't get any of it. But um, it'd be all right if my mother ever came out on any other protests. Yeah, did she protest when the age for my pension went up? No. Did she protest, like, for the poll tax? Did she protest about uh, the genocide in Rwanda or uh, the Baltic <laughs> states? Did she protest any of that stuff? No. But a few extra years of work, get up in the loft and get granddad's gun. Which, strangely enough, is the same thing she said when she heard a Polish family were moving in next door. <laughs> Just to tell you what kind of woman we're dealing with there. But, uh, again, I'd have more sympathy for this sort of phalanx of, you know, baby boomer women walking along with their signs that all have perfect grammar and, you know, excellent manners. Like, you know, if you'd be so kind... You know, hopefully we're not putting you out too much. <laughs> but I'd have a little bit more sympathy if their lot weren't currently rattling around in their four-bedroom homes that they paid 400 quid for and are now worth a cool half a million <laughs> while my generation are paying three-quarters of our income for a freezer box at the back of Tesco <laughs> with three kids in it. And then they're complaining that they may have to give some of this massive unearned windfall to pay for their old age care. If I may dust off another old chestnut, boo fucking who. <laughs> Do you know what? The care costs would probably a bit, be a little bit cheaper if more of my generation had actually trained to be care assistant nurses. I mean, hell, anything interesting, plumbers, carpenters, plasterers, anything like that, but no. They wanted us to get degrees. We all had to go and get degrees. They stopped all the funding for anything useful. Right, all go and get degrees. The bosses have all got degrees. If you get a degree, you'll be in charge. You'll be the boss. Let me tell you something about degrees. Right, it's like trying to win a fight by going to get a baseball bat. Doesn't fucking work if everyone's got one. <laughs> you just end up having, having some kind of stupid wooden sword fight. You look stupid and you feel stupid. It's like the empire was founded on our understanding of media studies. Like it was film studies that won the war. You know, a deep and abiding knowledge of mise-en-scene really fucked up the Nazis, didn't it? <laughs> you know, and you know who is in charge now? It's all the guys that got kicked out of school at 16. Three years of university. I come out, I'm working for the guy that used to light his farts in science. But it's fine, you know. What we'll have to do, seeing as we don't have anybody qualified as a plumber or a carpenter or a care assist or anything useful, 
So, all right, we can just employ those people in from the continent. Oh, no, we can't, because your lot voted us out of the EU as well. <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, in this new, modern, international Britain, we'll just get them in from other areas of the world. Probably get some from China off the Wish app. <laughs> Top review says it looks good. Haven't tried it yet. Please tell me what manner of wanker is putting them reviews on, I tell you now. <laughs> but uh, here's the thing. You know, at the moment, we've got, we've got finite resources. You know, we're not as wealthy a country as people seem to think we are. And we've got the NHS. We've got nurses and doctors protesting for money. We've got teachers protesting for money for education. We've got the police asking for more money for policing. We've got the bloody military asking for more money to actually defend us, right? I, I think they could probably get anything they wanted. They are all armed, but whatever. <laughs> but um, so, you know, good luck with your protest. You know, good luck with your protest. I mean, that's what you're competing with. You know, I don't think that we're, if we find any extra money, that we're going to say, nah, don't worry about the NHS and health and all the rest of it. We'll just spend it on letting you guys knock off a few years early. But, uh, you know, if you're feeling, feeling bad about it, and I, I feel bad about it, at the end of the day, right, it shouldn't be like that, right? These, these women, they, uh, um, and it is women protesting that, um, these, they shouldn't have to work longer than they was told. They paid in, they were told what they were going to get, and they were not going to get it, and it is unfair. Right, it was up to me and we had the money, then absolutely, you know, these contracts, these social contracts would be honored. Okay, but if you're feeling down about it, just, just think, you know, it could be worse. You know, you could be locked in spiraling debt with infinity mortgages, no capacity to actually have any savings, and no future left in a common... Uh, thank you. I, d I didn't realize I was having a musical uh, backing for that. <laughs> this is where it needs to ramp up, though. <laughs> Let's ramp it up. You know, and it's all right, all of that. Just, just remember, you know, if you're feeling bad about it, it could be worse. You could be in the same situation as your fucking kids, baby boomers. Yeah, that's it. That'll do. See you later. <laughs>